Hallelujah. Wherefore, God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus Christ every knee should bow of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The power of a name. Name is more than just an identity. It is more than just a nomenclature. It is a power to connect to God's abundance. Wherefore, God has highly exalted him. He has given him a name that is above every other name. Uh, the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every name must bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord, the power of a name. No matter what circumstances you are going through, no matter the situation you are, whenever you embrace the name, you have victory. Not only here on earth, beneath the heart, and in the heavens. Wherefore, God has highly exalted him. He has given him a name that is above every other name, be it under the heart, on the heart, in the heavens. That is why the name of Jesus Christ is the solution you need to cancel whatever is confronting you. A dimension of the name. Every name must bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. The power of a name. No matter any length, anywhere they confront you, summon courage, pronounce the name, release the name, signs and wonders without end shall be your portion. Praying to God in the name of Jesus Christ is the solution to every calamity. In the realm of the spirit, in the physical realm, in any level, in mundane level, spirit level, terrestrial level, aquatic level, the name cut across all borders and frustrate the tokens of liar, make the finest murder in the name of Jesus Christ. Whenever we summon this all-powerful name, circumstances changes, every forces of life give way, whatever we command we receive, especially when we mention the name with faith. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. principalities and powers, they bow down under the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. Spiritual wickedness in high places, all the satanic strong men, all of them bow under the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your head, O ye good, be thou lifted up everlasting door, that the King of glory might come in 
Who is this king of glory? The law that is stronger and mighty in battle. Everything under the name of Jesus. I shall not die. I will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. Everything in the name that is above every other name. The apostle said it out. He said, silver and gold I do not have. But such as I have, I give unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and begin to walk. Only the name can make the difference on the earth. It is the most powerful name on earth. In the spiritual realm, when you are dreaming, they want to oppress you, summon courage, shout the name that is above every other name in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Then your victory is sure. What a wonderful name. The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I got victory through the instrumentality of the name. No matter what shape, manner, and form the enemies come to you, once the name is mentioned, they scatter. They disintegrate because of the power, the bomb in the name of Jesus. Let's be grateful to God for the availability of this name for us. Hmm. Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endureth forever. He hath made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He has shown his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the hidden. The works of his hands are verity and judgment, all his commandments are sure. They stand fast for ever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people, he had commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding of all they that do his commandments, his praise endureth forever. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. As a child of God, you have access to multifaceted levels of power and authority. And the name of Jesus is the strongest of them all. I can tell you with all guarantee, the name is an asset. The name is a power base. We have access to the blood of Jesus. We have access to the Holy Spirit. We have the angelic assistance. We have a lot of power. But the name of Jesus is the only name with which we can receive from the Father with guarantee and assurance. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us 
are not we ourselves, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise, be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runs into it, and they are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runs into it, and they are safe. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, He is my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Since I've started using this name, it has never failed for us, especially in the realm of the spirit. At the hour of sleep, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the living God will lift up the standard against them when the name is activated. The name of Jesus. It shall come to pass in the last day that the burden shall be taken from off thy shoulder and the yoke from off your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed by the reasons of the anointing. Through the name of the anointed one, Jesus Christ. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy herb hath gotten him the victory. The Lord hath made known his salvation, his righteousness hath he openly shown in the sight of the hidden. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the heart have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the heart. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing his praises. Sing unto the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm, with trumpet and sound of cornet. Make a joyful noise before the Lord the King, let the sea roar and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills be joyful together. Before the Lord, 
for he cometh to judge the heart with righteousness, shall he judge the world and the people with equity. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament show his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the heart, and their words to the end of the world. In them at is set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoiced as a strong man to run a race. My God. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and is cycled unto the end of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect. Comforting the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than good, yea, than much fine gold sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret fault, keep back thy servant, and also from presumptuous sins, let them not have dominion over me, then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. <laughs> Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, He is my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. And then Jesus Christ said to them, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not, 
but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd whose own the sheep are not, see the wolf coming and leave the sheep and flee it, and the wolf catches them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth because he is an hireling and careth not for the sheep. I'm the good shepherd and know my sheep and I'm known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore does my father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man take it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. The commandment have I received of my father. This is the voice of the men. Silver and gold I do not have, but such as I have I give unto you, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runs into it, and they are saved. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon on Sidon like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divided the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaked the wilderness. The Lord shaked the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord made the inch to calf and discovered the forest. And in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. The Lord seated upon the flood, yet the Lord seated king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace.
Once I was young and now I am getting old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor their seed begging bread. Those that know his name, he has given power to become the children of God. The name of the Lord. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth. And teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the path of the Lord are mercy and truth, unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the herd. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the nets. The Lord shall pluck your feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. No matter how many distresses you are in, it will bring you out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Look upon my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let not be ashamed. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all the troubles. Now put your name there, redeem Oluwatoyin out of all his troubles, in the name that is above every other name, even the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell? 
Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing, if I deserve the Lord, thou will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the circuit of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies around about me, therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy, I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou sayest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, O God, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not your servant away in hunger, thou hast been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breath out cruelty. I have fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and it shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, it shall strengthen your heart. When you embrace the name through the instrumentality of the new birth, I can give you a guarantee you will be awarded and rewarded structures and infrastructures that makes growth possible will be put in place in your favor your name will never be associated with shame and disgrace. The grace that paves the way for greatness is now available for you through the instrumentality of the name. Your son of righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. You will never be sick or indisposed. You will never be weak. Good big things becomes a daily occurrence in your life. Through the power of the name, Iro Ayo Lao Magbola Gua Wolo Dodo O Nishubu Danu Loruko Jesu. From now on, 
Whatever you, you build stays upright and imposing. Your words become a law and a command. From now on, your mentality of weakness changes to that of strength. When you correct your mentality, you can then correct you can then connect to your prosperity. When you correct your mentality, you can then connect to your prosperity. Mentality, it is then you have the license to connect to your prosperity. Your going through won't stop your going to. What you are going through now will never stop your destination. God has given it to you and he will sustain it for you through his mighty name. It doesn't matter your background. God will furnish and embellish you with greatness. Your back should not be on the ground simply because of your background. As you embrace the fountain of life, Jesus has now become your background. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Lift up your earth, O ye gate, and be lifted up everlasting door, that the King of glory might come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord that is strong and mighty in battle. That is his name. My God.
what is the benefit of running why you are on the wrong track what is the benefit of running if you are running on the wrong track there are no shortcuts to any place worth going the way to the top is neither swift nor easy nothing worthwhile ever happens in a hurry so be patient stay steadfast keep on asking in his name because of impatience we are driven too soon from what we are supposed to do don't be impatient remember you cannot warm your hands by burning your fingers those that wait on the lord shall not make haste wait on the lord in the name that is above every other name he make everything beautiful in his time God's clock keeps perfect time. Your success has less to do with speed, but more to do with timing and direction. The key is doing the right thing at the right time. Have a time and place for everything and do everything in its time and place and you will not only accomplish more but have far more leisure than those who are always hurrying the problem is that many of so-called go-getter on another platform never stop long enough to let opportunity cash up with them they never stop long enough to let opportunity cash up with them. Stay on the right track and fortune shall smile upon you. When you are outside of the right timing, you will so hurry and you will reap frustration. There is simply more to life than increasing only speed. Those that wait upon the Lord shall not make haste. Many of us, we overestimate what we can do in a year, but underestimate what we can do in a lifetime. My God. Your past can never be changed, but you can change your tomorrow by your actions today. Never let yesterday use up too much of today. The book of Proverbs says, 
the wise man looks ahead, the fool attempts to fool himself and won't face the fact. Living in the past is a dull and lonely business. Looking back strains the neck muscles, causing you to bump into people's not going your way. Hmm. The first rule for happiness is avoid lengthy thinking on the past. Nothing is as far away as one hour ago. You can never have a better tomorrow if you are thinking about yesterday all the time. Your past doesn't equal your future. Those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous runs into it, and they are safe. The power of the name. Call upon me in the name of trouble. I will answer you. I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. The power of the name of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. For he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and the riders as he ordered into the sea. Thanks be to God. For he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and the riders as he ordered into the sea. Power in the name. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. 
God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according unto the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Behold, I was shaping in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Pour me with Aesop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not away your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation
finally may your light shine and the grace of God to be upon you and the name of Jesus to be sufficient for you see like come your way next time have a blessed week May the grace of God be sufficient for you. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Have a nice day. Bye.